What is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and welcome back to yet another free lesson on a Friday. This one is all about Dorian mode and the two little triads that we can use within that, triad pairs. Before we go into the teaching part, as always, I just want to ask you guys, please make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. I make free lesson content every Friday. I do want to say a massive thanks to all of you for all the support on my debut release, Escapades. I actually just got a few of these delivered today, so I know a few of you guys are asking about physicals. I mean, they look super, super cool. Um, yeah, I'm blown away. Ramiro's done a stunning job with the artwork. So if you'd like some of them, you can head over to my band camp. I'll leave the links in the description. But without further ado then, let's get into the teaching part then. Okay, triad pairs then, so what are they? I mean, we've already looked at them in the Mixolydian mode in a previous video. Today, we're gonna apply the same idea to the Dorian mode. So if you're not familiar with what the Dorian mode is, let's just quickly go over the intervals then. So we have root, major second or major nine, minor third, perfect fourth or the 11th, perfect fifth, major sixth, play that there or you could play here flat seven or minor seven and then root again so all together so the chord that we play that over is going to be a minor seven chord now what we are going to do in order to build these triad pairs is we're going to harmonize that scale. So by that, I mean we're going to build triads on each degree of the scale using the formula, if you like, you know, one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven, root. So we would have the first one is going to be like a D minor triad, if you like. So you would have... Now, if we build it from the second degree, we actually have a minor triad again. So an E minor triad. Now, what are they in relation to a D root though? This is where it becomes important. So triad pairs, I always like to think of them, they usually are like the same chord type. So in this case, it's minor next to each other within the scale. They always seem to work really well. So D minor, that's this, but E minor, what are those intervals to bring it back to that point? So E in relation to D is actually the major second or the major nine, if you like, if you're thinking of it as an extension here. Then we've got the, that's the 11th or the fourth, the perfect fourth. So that's the next extension. And then finally we have the major sixth, which gives it that classic Dorian vibe. So all together, they are all the extensions of the chord. Think about it, when we build chords traditionally, we go one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13. We are playing nine, 11, and 13 or major sixth if you like so that is going to give us the sound of an extended chord now this is where it's cool and in that improvisation at the beginning i think i used that once but it's important to, to realize that you can use this in both ways you can use it in your compen or you can use it in your single line playing. So what do I mean by that? So if you've got a D root going, you can play stuff like this. There's D minor, isn't it? There's our D minor triad. But we could play an E minor triad over that D. Hopefully straight away to your ears, that sounds like the Dory mode. Or imagine there's another triad. If you know your triads all over the neck, this should be quite easy to do. There's another triad that's um, a D minor triad here. We take it up two frets. We've got an E minor triad for a D root. Sounds like Dorian mode straight away. So what I would suggest you do then is experiment with these triads as much as you can. Maybe stick to like a couple of positions. I always bring it back to the minor pentatonic because I think that's the easiest for people to solo in a melodic way and phrase in a nice way when they're first learning these kind of ideas. So I mean, you have like a D minor triad here. You've got one here, one here. And then E minor, it's essentially just two frets above or a tone above. You could experiment with that. If you know them all across the fretboard, this is where this is gonna really open doors anyway, especially when you play them in like sequences like this. Do 
just sounds really cool. You can hear straight away, or you should be able to anyway, that, that sounds like the Dorian mode. Okay guys, I hope that all makes sense. They were the first set of triad pairs within the Dory mode. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, I have loads of this in my One Chords Groove package, which is available over at my website. I'll leave a link in the description there. Guys, thanks again for checking out this video. Let me know what it is you guys wanna see in the comments below. I didn't mention this at the beginning of this video, but basically most of these lessons have come from suggestions from you guys. I'm always intrigued to hear what you guys wanna cover. So yeah, thanks again, guys. My name's Jack Gardner. Until next time, cheers.